The Sonosight S-Series offers superb image quality in a compact and simple-to-use ultrasound system. This short video will demonstrate the system's key features and functions. For more in-depth information, please refer to the system user guide. The S-Series operates efficiently on either AC or battery power. To install the battery, turn the system upside down. Place the battery into the battery compartment. Push down on the cover until the latch snaps into place. If the battery is being installed for the first time, it will need to be charged. To remove the battery, push up on the locking lever and lift the battery from the compartment. Connect the power cord to the system to use AC power. To turn the system on, Press the power key. The system will power up completely for use in 15 seconds. To connect a transducer, insert the transducer connector with the latch up and rotate it clockwise. Turn the latch counterclockwise and press the latch down. To remove the transducer, pull the latch up and rotate it clockwise. On the back of the system is an embedded mini dock for connectivity and data transfer. There are ports for Ethernet, digital video out, and two S videos. There are also ports for an audio jack, composite video, a 9-pin serial or RS-232 serial port, power, and two USB ports. On the right side of the system, there is an additional USB port and an audio jack for headphones. The USB ports can be used for image storage and system software upgrades. The system control panel is simple to use. Many controls and features are automated to simplify the user interface and minimize the number of keys. The primary controls, or the controls used most often, are located along the bottom edge of the image display screen. The secondary controls are located along the left side of the ultrasound image display. In the lower middle of the control panel is the touchpad, which can be used to select, adjust, and move objects on the screen. The Select key is used to make various choices depending upon the function that is activated. It is used to switch between calipers for measurement, the zoom function, and the text forms. The first knob has multiple functions. When the system is in imaging mode, this knob controls the gain levels. There are three choices, far, near, and overall gain. The system default is overall gain. To choose another gain setting, push the knob to toggle between the gain settings. Near adjusts the gain applied to the near field of the image. Far adjusts the gain applied to the far field of the image. And overall, Adjust the overall gain applied to the entire image. When the system is in color Doppler imaging mode, the first knob controls the overall gain of the color Doppler. When an image is frozen, the gain knob can also be used to review images in the cine buffer. Counterclockwise and clockwise rotation of the knob scrolls backward and forward through the stored images. The second knob is used for adjustment of imaging depth. Turning the knob clockwise increases the depth. Counterclockwise decreases the imaging depth. A beep sounds when the minimum or maximum of the range is reached. The freeze button stops the live imaging and displays a frozen image. The save button allows you to save a frozen image to the internal storage of the system. Color turns color Doppler or color power Doppler on and off. In the secondary controls, page numbers are indicated at the bottom of the screen. Select the page key to activate the next page of controls. On the first page of the secondary controls, the patient key allows exam information to be entered into the system, including patient demographics. This screen is also used to select the exam type, the exam label, and provide data regarding who performed the examination and the institution where it was performed. 
Information entered here will be displayed on the image display screen. The exam key can be selected during a patient exam to quickly change exam types without having to return to the patient data entry screen. The exam types menu lists the exam types that are appropriate for the transducer selected. Selecting the appropriate exam type ensures that system parameters have been adjusted for optimal viewing of the structure of interest. The clip key allows you to save a movie of the ultrasound image. A clip length from 2 to 60 seconds may be captured. The clip length to be saved is determined in the system setup menu. The Sonosite S-Series system can automatically adjust the 2D gain levels to the optimal level. Select Auto Gain to activate this feature instead of using the manual gain controls. The second page of the secondary controls includes the biopsy feature, which will depend upon the transducer type. Select Biopsy to display the biopsy guidelines. Select again to turn off. Zoom magnifies the image by a factor of 2. Press once to choose the region of interest. Use the touchpad to position the region of interest box within the image. Press the Zoom key again to magnify the area of interest. Press the Zoom or the 2D key to exit. The Zoom key feature is also available on a frozen image. Press the Zoom key to activate and the touchpad to pan the image to the area of interest. To optimize the image, select 2D optimization settings based on the patient's body habitus. The system will automatically adjust features such as focal zones, transducer frequency, and bandwidth. Res provides the best resolution possible. Gen provides a balance between resolution and penetration. Pen provides the best possible penetration. The image can be displayed in four image orientations. Upright, downright, down left, up left. Press the orientation key to scroll through the image display choices. Page 3 of the secondary controls contains controls for image display brightness and Sono MB. To change the system screen brightness, select a setting from 1 to 10. Reset will change the setting to the system default level. Sono MB reduces speckle noise in the ultrasound image, improves contrast resolution, and enhances tissue interfaces and boundaries. This feature can be turned on or off, but Sonosight recommends that Sono MB be used routinely for 2D imaging. To return to the first page of controls, select the 2D imaging key at the far right of the primary controls. When the ultrasound image is frozen, there are several features available to optimize the image. The image can be zoomed to clearly identify a structure of interest, or other frames may be selected by scrolling through the cine buffer. Once the image is optimized, structures can be measured by selecting calipers. The generic caliper button activates up to eight sets of calipers on the screen. From this menu, area measurements may also be selected. Select Save to send the desired images to the internal storage of the system. Select Print to send the image to a printer.